As you watch this young girl transform before your eyes into an elderly woman, you are witnessing the expected physical changes of facial aging. To this day, however, the biological basis of human aging is still unknown. Many theories exist. In fact, an entire federal agency dedicated to the study of aging is part of the world-famous National Institutes of Health in Baltimore, Maryland. Perhaps aging is based in genetics and is the result of a genetic program. Or maybe it results from long-term accumulated damage to our body's DNA. A major NIH study concluded, however, that genetics, lifestyle, and an individual's underlying medical conditions all affect the rate at which we age. No single chronological timetable of human aging exists. We all seem to age at different rates. In fact, in terms of changes and development, an NIH study concluded that there are more differences among older people than among younger people. In normal, everyday life, our face and neck are constantly exposed to the general public, even when we are fully dressed. As we age, this area tends to serve as somewhat of a public billboard of our age. Even famous celebrity faces are not immune to the predictable effects of age on our face. To help understand the complex facial changes that occur with time, it's easiest to break up the face into thirds. In early adulthood, the upper third of the face is characterized by a strong, robust hairline, a smooth forehead, high arched eyebrows, and well-defined upper eyelids. With age, the hairline thins, recedes, and grays. Horizontal wrinkles of the forehead appear. The entire forehead and brow area slide downwards in both males and females. This leads to a lower position of the eyebrows and a heavier appearance of the upper eyelids. This low eyebrow position imparts an intense masculine look, which, of course, is not desirable in a female. Crow's feet deepen and excess upper eyelid skin becomes apparent. The middle third of the face in youth is characterized by high, full cheekbone areas, smooth, wrinkle-free lower eyelid skin, and no furrows or creases whatsoever between the cheek and upper lip area. With age, scattered lower eyelid wrinkles and puffy bags appear as well as a downward sliding of both cheekbone regions. This creates two deep diagonal nasolabial creases at the sides of the nose and a deflated flat appearance of the cheekbone area known as mid-face soft tissue descent. Surprisingly, even the nasal tip droops slightly and our ears actually lengthen with age. The lower third of the face once characterized by full lips, a well-defined sharp jawline, and a tight smooth neck transforms into thinner lips with vertical wrinkle lines scattered around the mouth. Marionette lines may form. The jawline is no longer well-defined but rather develops jowls and an overall indistinct appearance. This results from loose sagging tissues sliding down from the cheeks to mask the underlying jawbone contours. The jawbone itself actually shrinks in size and provides less support for the overlying soft tissues. Our dentition changes, gum lines recede, and teeth are frequently lost. As you get older, the upper lip lengthens and you see less of your upper teeth and at the same time, your lower lip sags exposing more of your lower teeth. The neck develops visible vertical bands of muscle known as platysmal bands and obvious loose hanging skin hides the once well-defined neck contour. The changes of the lower third of the face are by far the most obvious telltale signs of facial aging and the most common area that people seem to be concerned with cosmetically as they age. Although facial aging changes occur to different extents and at different rates among individuals, these changes are relatively consistent and predictable, especially once one reaches an advanced age. 
Although most of the changes are likely genetically inherited and pre-programmed, lifestyle choices such as smoking, sun exposure, and even one's diet all have been found to affect our perceived rate of aging. Forensic artists are frequently called upon by law enforcement agencies to try to predict the facial appearance of missing persons and felons, sometimes many years after the original disappearance. They use these same well-known facial aging patterns to create an older version of a given person. Let's imagine, just for a moment, the talented artists take images of beautiful famous celebrity faces and try to predict what they will look like many decades into the future. Although these are just simply educated guesses, they are all based on sound principles and expected patterns of facial aging. Notice how these artists add forehead wrinkles, they lower the eyebrows, and add heaviness and sag to the upper eyelids. In the mid-face, artists add wrinkles to the lower eyelid area, droop the cheekbone soft tissues, and lengthen the ears. The nasolabial folds are deepened. This holds true, of course, for both men and women. For the lower third of the face, artists add jowls, marionette lines, and neck fat. The once crisp clean jawline of youth becomes indistinct and difficult to see. Artists add vertical bands of loose sanguine neck tissues known as platysmal bands to the neck, the classic sign and a hallmark of an aging neck. Along with the wisdom, experience, and accomplishments that come with getting older, the changes that occur in our outward facial appearance are indeed very consistent. Some may choose to accept them for what they are and embrace those changes. Even if you have great genes, a healthy lifestyle, and simply look much younger than you really are, age-related changes eventually affect everyone. Unless postponed or modified by surgical intervention, they are truly an inevitable part of life. <laughs>